A well-known downtown Shreveport restaurant is dealing with backlash on social media. Management of the Blind Tiger says they closed this past weekend with the Bayou Classic in town for construction. But some do not believe that's the case. NBC6's Darren Todd joins us now live in downtown Shreveport explaining both sides. Darren? Hey, good evening, Dan and Jackie. Management says that their intentions were not to, to not to be closed due to any type of racial discrimination. However, that's been the topic of discussion all over social media. Management says that their reasoning for closing was to fix a major accident after a car ran into the building. As you can see here, this is the infrastructure he said that he had to close due to the building not being able to operate. He also says that he had no idea of the Bayou Classics coming this past weekend. We understand how it looks now, but it was not motivated in any way by any kind of racism. The popular downtown eatery Blind Tiger stirred up a lot of controversial conversation in the past 72 hours and not in a good way. Optics are everything, man, and it looked as though that um, this particular business did not want to do business with uh, the patrons of the Bayou Classic who are uh, typically predominantly black. Blind Tigers management says that they were closed to fix damage to the building after a car ran into the building back in March. Uh, it's just kind of how it started out. And then when we chose the weekend, we didn't realize that that was what was going on that weekend. Taylor Jamison is with the Shreveport Bossier African American Chamber of Commerce. He says it was a historical moment for the city and for any local restaurant to capitalize from, but questions as to why the restaurant closed at that time. We're used to seeing that down in New Orleans because that game has been played down there for so many years. But seeing that in your own community, it, it hurts a little bit different. The restaurant industry, especially after um, all of the COVID restrictions that we've had, and, and uh, ironically, you're missing out on a on the busiest weekend uh, to date for this year. And we said, you know what? Let's let these guys. We'll get it fixed. Let our guys have a weekend off and do it again. There's no. There was no intent. I mean, it's poor judgment, I would say. At, now it is, but at the time it seemed like we were doing something, you know, to help everybody out. Jameson says that he's been to the restaurant many times before, but now he's just processing it all. You know, it's hard to say just don't support them without them um, trying to explain themselves, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Now, management says that they are uh, they haven't seen any declines in sales or business since the incident happened, and he wants to apologize to the to everybody for the wrongful message and continue to serve the community that he loves. Reporting live in downtown Shreveport, I'm Darren Todd with NBC6 News. All right, Darren, thank you very much for that.